Welcome to the Informatica Cloud. Today we're going to talk about synchronizing Oracle CRM on demand and Salesforce.com. Uh, we're going to do a bi-directional account sync. Um, so a lot of you guys could relate to that. Um, either you're moving to or from either Oracle on demand or Salesforce because they're the two big players out there in the CRM space. Let's go ahead and get started. So th let's first go into Informatica Cloud, all right? And we'll go into data synchronization. We'll make a new synchronization task uh, to accomplish the first leg. So essentially we're gonna take our CRM on demand accounts, upsert them into Salesforce. We're gonna make a change in one of those accounts in Salesforce, and then we're gonna upsert them back to CRM on demand. So this will be a pretty cool uh, exercise. So uh, let's, our first step is CRM on demand to accounts. Um, and we're simply going to upsert, which means update records that are already there and, up, and insert ones that are not. Um, so going to number two, uh, we want to go ahead and pick our uh, CRM on demand query file, um, which has query criteria that we could put in there. And then we want to take the CRM on demand accounts and we want to put them right into Salesforce. All right, so here we pick Salesforce from our list of connections. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and stick them in accounts. All right, and we could, of course, put them anywhere we want, but these match up to the account um, actually quite nicely from a CRM perspective. Uh, we can make a new data filter. Say we only wanted uh, certain records, uh, maybe from, you know, where the name equals something special or maybe the state or the zip code or kind of whatever you're looking at doing. Um, but in our case, we're just kind of skip that step and go right to the fun part, which is a field mapping. Uh, now, with the field mapping, uh, with some of these different uh, web apps and uh, SaaS apps, um, we use something called a custom function. So we're going to do something called CRM on demand get accounts, uh, where we're going to grab that information from CRM on demand, um, and then we're going to put it into, upsert it into salesforce.com account. All right, so uh, the first step here in this mapping is to simply drag over the criteria. Um, so in our case, it's really pretty simple. Um, I just have this one uh, function key, which means no criteria. I'm going to get all those accounts from CRM on demand. And then, of course, uh, when I want to take uh, what happens, so they're going to give me all the accounts. I want to, on the left side, and I want to put them into Salesforce account on the right side. That's just a matter of drag and drop. So, for example, the, the key parts are I want to take my account key and put it in my external ID in Salesforce. And this links that uh, upsert, which is the update is there by that key or insert if it's not. Um, other important things are required fields such as name, so account name. Right, and then I have uh, you know, even more things like, uh, for example, there's my billing information. So let's go down to my address, right, and then my city, right, and then my country, state, province, the state, zip code, postal code, and that's it. All right, oh, well, I, I probably ought to go ahead and grab a phone number. Let me find my phone number. I think it's called main phone here. There you go, main phone, main fax. So there's my fax number. Um, and here's my phone number. Phone. All right, so uh, that's all we have to do for the mapping step. Um, now let's go ahead and uh, save this guy. All right, and so we called it the get accounts that you saw earlier. So now let's go ahead and um, take a look. Here's our CRM on demand. Uh, we only have a few different accounts. Uh, we have these three. Um, and then if you go into uh, Salesforce, we should have none. So I have no accounts there. And certainly I don't have uh, the Nike, which will be our test account. Um, but it will be there because if we're going to take that information through Informatica Cloud, um, these three accounts into Salesforce, we'll make a change and we'll put them back. All right, so uh, Nike Air here is on 11 Shoe Street uh, in hometown Texas. And so let's go ahead and run this integration. So we're going to do the get accounts uh, task. And let's go ahead and watch. This is kind of neat because this is the activity monitor. This is where you can see what's going on. So if you have lots of integrations running, uh, you can see those. Um, and then, of course, in real time, you can see the record, the row count of what's going on. Um, and then, of course, when you uh, when it gets done, we'll see the activity log. So we can actually see... Um, what happened? And you know, of course you got the full error logging and notification and all that kind of stuff to make sure that uh, you know what's going on with your integration because the worst thing that can happen is something doesn't work and you don't know about it. 
And there you go. Three rows uh, were complete. So uh, we got our three records. We should have them in Salesforce now. Um, there's the Nike that we searched for earlier. Um, and of course, uh, all these three records from Serum on Demand should be in there as well. All right, so there's my Nike. Uh, let's go ahead and edit uh, Nike. Um, so we can say, well, actually we moved to a different postal code. So let's say we moved to the uh, 111 postal code. All right, and uh, maybe it's a different address uh, or same address on Shoe Street. But anyway, let's go ahead and save this guy. And it looks like I have some validation rules I need to make sure I put in place. So let's go ahead and save this guy. And uh, so now he's at a different zip code. See on demand. Um, he's on two. Uh, but we're about to change him to one because maybe somebody in the Salesforce is using Salesforce, got a call, and the zip code was wrong. So now I'm going to put it back. All right. So uh, let me show you real quick. Uh, we showed you how to build the one. Uh, let me go here and just show you how this one back into Serum on Demand is built. Right, so you have the same six, six, six step wizard, it's the same service. Uh, you give it a name, um, and then of course, here we're going to pick Salesforce accounts, right, that changed as our change, right? So these are my different accounts that are in Salesforce. Um, and then the target is going to be what happened with CRM on demand. Now, in our field mapping, we had another custom function um, that was called um, insert update of the CRM, and now we have the same thing that stores the custom function in target or in custom function the target. So our source is our accounts that change to our CRM on demand account insert update. And so you have to map over the external ID is the account and the name, and then of course your basic address information. All right, and then what happens is that's going into CRM on demand, and then they're gonna come back and tell us what happened. So this is, okay, well this is what happened after we updated. We inserted these records or we updated these or we did nothing. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, run this guy. So CRM in insert update, and let's see uh, that change that we made in Salesforce show up back in CRM on demand account, specifically for Nike. So remember, we changed the um, zip code from one or from two to one. And so right here, we're on two. We ought to be at one in just a minute. All right, so we have success. Um, so now we can come back over here. Uh, this tooth's gonna be a one here, so let's go ahead and refresh it. Uh, and go back into our Nike Air. And now we have the new zip code um, of our new update. And that's uh, that's how we synchronize Oracle CRM on Demand and Salesforce.com. Uh, thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.